it finally happened. A modern 360 degree pad printed Star Wars figure that I absolutely love. Orbital Minifigs finally released his first modern collection after making TCS for a long time, and I'm so excited for that change. Let's cover some of his newest products from this latest drop. I really think dress pieces are the only time I could think I'd enjoy a 360 print, but I'm looking forward to when I'm proven wrong. It's kind of hard to explain, but this metallic print looks excellent on this figure. There's no printing on the sides of the torso, which is absolutely critical to still keeping that Lego feel. The gray dress piece is excellent here and gets continuous printing around the entire figure, but I don't love the face print here as the eye bags are really huge. I'd use the existing Lego Chancellor head or the new Clone Wars head from the new gunship. Dayton included a blue variant in my order to show off in this video, and it's like a 2003 Clone Wars version. It's super cool. Now, the Marshall is our first pad printed Cobb fan that I've seen, and this is an excellent face print. It accurately portrays the actor so well and the two-tone beard is perfect. The hip printing is just a little too simple for me and it doesn't look like it belongs on a modern figure and I think it's because the lines are a little thin. The legs are fine though and it's nice to have another Skywalker Saga figure brought to life. The cyberpunk biker here is Mitsura from Akira. His double-sided head includes the goggles for his iconic bike and his bright red bomber jacket. The rear side of the torso has the iconic good for health, bad for education printed clearly. I think the line work around this entire figure figure is still too thin if it wanted to match that Lego charm. Thickening these lines I feel like would have helped it out a ton, and he included the Akira specimen jar pad printed as well in a translucent yellow piece. On the trend of cyberpunk themes, the replicant hunter is Deckard from Blade Runner. His iconic trench coat is depicted well printing the pants under the coat. The torso is the real highlight here though. With an incredible print for the tie, it looks so good, and I love this figure. I need that brick arms blaster for this guy, so if you see one for sale, just let me know. My confidence in Orbital minifix production and quality has skyrocketed after seeing this Deckard minifigure, so I actually asked him to produce Melnick and I's Brickworld Chicago exclusive for us this year, which is Cassian in disguise from Rogue One. We'll be at the event and sell the figure for $15 exclusive to the con. Dayton and I will also have a presentation room at the convention where we'll dive into the behind the scenes of pad printing and an inside look about the production, kind of similar to last year. But besides figs, Orbital drops several accessories and pad printed parts. Orbital's roots are in classic styled minifigs so the multicolored pilot torso was a fun pickup. I got the yellow one so I can make a TCS boss. He also released plenty of modern styled heads to build out more Star Wars characters. I got the Darth Nihilus head, which I just used the Imperial Guard from the Shadow Trooper battle pack and the new hood piece in black. It's simple, but it looks great. I also picked up two TIE pilot heads as I loved when LEGO did the Baba Quava head thing, so grabbing these faces for the Sun Pilots was just a no-brainer. He also produces a Death Star plans tile, which is perfect for the Tana 4 hallway set that just came out. This is a great pickup, but it's not the only thing that came in my package. I have the very special privilege to debut the next figure coming from Orbital Minifigs, and you guys are in for a treat here. Following the trend of more Old Republic figures, Darth Revan is a modern adaptation of a very sought after figure. Dayton also included a secondary head for Revan printed on a gray blank. The metallic print looks great for this mask and includes a cape from Capes for Minifigs. Strangely enough, this feels... Dude, he's on the roof. No, wait, hold on. Strangely enough, this feels like an in-between a spongy cape, a stiff cape, and it's just really nice. Revan uses a dress piece with 180 printing unlike the complex Chancellor print, but Dayton hasn't finished the back printing yet, so make sure you follow him for all updates. Like, okay, is it just me or does it feel like there's more pad printed producers coming out? And while Orbital Minifigs has been here for a long time, this rebrand to modern figures is absolutely stunning. I think this is something that I would like to see in a lot of other, you know, producers, especially those with pad printing technology available to them. But watching somebody who is established in TCS material or those classic style uh, Star Wars figures shift into modern figs is a big change. And I think it's something that I would like to support. It's definitely something I talk about all the time. So I like putting my money where my mouth is and going out of the way to purchase these things. So I picked these up. Really, really appreciate Dayton, including this extra uh, blue sheath. So thank you very much, Dayton. That's it.